Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. This is our last lesson on patent matching. Afterward we go into some more useful things. Last time we went over the asterisk parenthesis parenthesis, which was an optional patent matching and what it said was that anything inside the parentheses is optional. You can have any of the patents inside of the parentheses in any number in any order or you can have absolutely nothing and that's still a match. The example we went over was this one right here. This test would be true if what was in dollar sign name started with a capital T and was optionally followed by this string, this string, or this string in any combination or any amount. So it matched T capital Tom, Thomas, Tommy, Tomummy, Tommy, Amis, and this thing right here. It, it matches anything and everything inside of the parentheses or absolutely nothing. In addition, it matches any combination of them. What I wanted to go over today was a little different. Today, I wanted to go over the plus parentheses parentheses which matches one or more of the required patents that are within the parentheses. So, for example, right here, let's break this one down. We are required to have one or more of whatever is within the parentheses. What's in the parentheses? The lowercase a through lowercase z choice. This expands, which is within the square brackets. And as you remember, the square bracket means choose one of whatever is with inside of it. So choose one letter, A through Z, but that's nestled inside of the plus parenthesis parenthesis. So therefore, you have a choice of one or more lowercase letters. Because the plus means one or more of whatever is within the parenthesis, and what's in the parenthesis? The choice of A through Z lowercase. This right here is a very similar example. It says one or more of a choice of 0 through 9 and therefore that will match 0 through 9 one or more characters of it. The thing I want you to notice though is that it's not truly going to match numbers because it will match 0, 0, 0, 008, which in most cases you would not really define as a number. It will match 91, it will match 0. So the example I want to use for this was this. We ask a person to enter a word in and it's stored in the variable answer and if answer is equivalent to or matches this patent match then our test is true. Now what does this break down to? Well we have this right here which we just went over which means one or more lowercase letters and we have this right here which is the same thing. So one or more lowercase letters followed by this thing followed by one or more lowercase letters. And what does this mean right here? Well, normally you can't, excuse me, normally when you use a quote it means use it as uh, an enclosure of a string to enclose a string. However, if you just want to say a single quote you need to put a backslash in front of it because the backslash means add to or remove from the meaning of the next character. Normally when you see, see a single quote or a double quote it means the beginning of a string or the end of a string. However, when you put the backslash in front it just means a single quote. So this would match letters followed by a single quote followed by letters which would look something like a contracted word. So if somebody enters the word don't this test would be true and we would go down inside 
of the then to phi portion and we would print out contraction. Or if somebody entered the word o'clock all in lower all in lowercase, then this test would also be true. And we would go down to here. So once again, the plus parenthesis parenthesis matches one or more of whatever is within side of the parenthesis. The next thing I wanted to go over was this right here. The not parenthesis parenthesis. It will match anything except what is inside of the parentheses. And I do mean anything. If you want an easy explanation of it or an easy way to remember it, think of it as it matches the asterisk minus the excluded patents. And as you remember, asterisk matches anything or nothing. This test is true if the value within user does not match, because that's what this means, whatever is within inside the parenthesis, which is root. So as long as the user is not the root user, then this test is true. Here's another example. Say, for example, you had a list of files in a directory, and you wanted to do an operation on all of them, except for the ones that were dated from January and February. And you just happened to know that the ones dated in January had J-A-N in them, and the ones dated from February had F-E-B in the name. So here is how you might do that. Okay, this test comes out true if file contains the following. Well, we know it has to contain aura underscore at the beginning, and it has to end in .txt. However, it cannot have this. And what that breaks down to is aura underscore asterisk dot txt minus or underscore feb dot txt and also minus or or underscore dot jan dot txt so this test comes out true if what is inside a file starts with or underscore ends in dot txt and as long as the letters after the underscore aren't J-A-N or F-E-B, then the test comes out true. So matches would be something like this, or underscore dot M-A-R dot T-X-T, or, or underscore dot A-P-R dot T-X-T, and it also matches or underscore dot T-X-T.